So, Israel's bombed another country. This time, it's Yemen. Israel hit the Red Sea port city of Hodeidah, blowing up an oil refinery and a power plant, and killing three and wounding almost 100 people. It's the first time ever, and it happened a day after another first. On July 19, a Houthi missile hit Tel Aviv, killing one person. The Houthis have never managed a successful strike on a city until now. And that's why Israel bombed Hodeidah. There's a long list of reasons why Yemen's Houthis hate Israel, but right at the top is Israel's nine-month-long war on Gaza. The Houthis, which is a rebel group that controls parts of Yemen's western coast, pledge solidarity with the Palestinian people. They've been targeting Israeli-linked ships in the Gulf of Aden and Red Sea with drones and pirate attacks ever since, and launching missiles at Israel itself. Israel's intercepted all of those, all except one. That's shown how the Houthis have gone from a rebel group, which was more pest than perilous, to one with better reach than previously thought possible. The Houthis claim the drone, which hit Tel Aviv, is a new type of aircraft named Yaffa that can fly undetected through Israel's extensive air defense systems. Israel's military says the drone was in fact an Iranian-made Samad 3, which flew for 10 hours and didn't fly directly from Yemen, but instead traversed Egypt and flew into Tel Aviv at low altitude from the direction of the Mediterranean Sea. Iran hasn't commented on that claim yet. A key point here, according to the Israelis, is the drone had been modified. It carried less than 10 kilograms of explosives instead of its standard 18 kilograms. So it was able to hold more fuel and fly for 500 kilometers longer than normal. It's put Yemen's neighbors and enemies on notice, but not so fast. The military says it had detected and tracked the drone, but a human error meant it wasn't labeled a threat and therefore not shot down by Israel's air defenses. Still, these attacks mark an unprecedented level of warfare between the two sides. The Houthis say they'll keep targeting Israel until it stops its war on Gaza. And so far, no amount of political pressure nor bombs have been able to achieve that.